Let's talk about Jacob wrestling with a man, according to the Bible, from a perspective you may have not thought about before, but will bless those who have ears to hear. Now, the scripture talks about Jacob wrestling this man to receive a blessing, but before this occurred, Jacob was afraid. He was afraid of encountering his older brother Esau, and he went to the Lord for help. Now, what's that sound like? Well, Jacob was afraid that his older brother is going to smite him, and who slew Abel. The older brother slew Abel. And Jacob's over here asking God to help him out. So he ends up going to the solitary place. And the scripture says a man wrestled with Jacob. So who initiated the wrestling? Was it Jacob or the man? Because the scripture says a man wrestled with Jacob. So this man wanted Jacob to receive a blessing. But there was a scuffle. There was a wrestling between the two. Now, we know this blessing was for Jacob to get a new name. Because, see, Jacob couldn't go see Esau as Jacob. He needed to go see Esau as Israel. Now, what's even more interesting is the scripture says that flesh and blood is not what we wrestle against. But yet here, Jacob is wrestling with the man. See, there's something trying to prevent Jacob from receiving the blessing. But the man wants Jacob to receive the blessing, to receive a new name, to receive a new identity, to go and see Esau. Now, the scripture even says that Jacob notes that he's seen the face of God and lived. But the scripture says that no man can see the face of God and live. That's because Jacob received a new identity when he seen the face of of the man, the face of God. He received his new identity from God, and now he's ready to go see Esau. Jesus says this in the New Testament. He says that no one can see the kingdom of God unless they're born again. You see, the old man can't see the things of God. They have eyes to see, but can't see. They have ears to hear, but can't hear. But those who are born again receive a new heart, a pure heart, and the pure in heart shall see God. You see, Jesus is wrestling with a bunch of people because he wants them to know what he's accomplished for them. He wants them to know their true identity can only be found in Christ. He wants to give them a new name, which can only be given from above. But see, there's something wrestling against this promise. There's something wrestling against people that don't want them to know the truth to see the face of God, because that means the old man's got to die. And that old man don't want to die. He don't want to go in the grave. But see, when you're born again, Paul puts it like this. Don't you know you've been baptized into Jesus Christ's death? Why? Because he raises you up a new man, which can only be found in Christ. Jesus being the head, then being the body. Do you want a new name? And if you have a new name, because you've already received the Lord Jesus Christ, and are born again, then what's trying to wrestle against you from seeing who Jesus Christ has made you to be in him? He wants to send you out there to see Esau, not be afraid, but to walk in victory through what Jesus has accomplished for you. Be blessed in Jesus' name and follow for more.